Hi everyone. I've pulled myself together and I'm going to get this done. Something that is long overdue. For everyone that's new, I've not even done this for anybody. So here it goes. I'm going to try and write everything in the description box so that you know what I use and why. Okay, so these hoops, I get them. Um, they're prim rows. I get them on Amazon. The reason why I like these is because they're quite lovely and they don't have that bad sodded look right there. You can get your wires over it. These are the four and the five inch hoops. I get them in six inch hoops as well. These are recommended. Um, I've been using a lot of the four lately because my channel started mostly just for beginners. But here I will help you grow. I will help you to make the most basic tree in a four inch hoop. That's next. And I will show you what beads I'm gonna use so you don't have to make a big investment. You can use them in this as well. Graduate up, four to five, five to six. You can do it, and I'm gonna show you how. So for 12 pieces of these four inch hoops, they're $14.95, I know. It's a lot of money. It's an investment, but you're worth it, and you get 12. That's 12, that's a lot in a, for a four inch hoop, okay. So we're going to get rid of the, the hoops, but any hoop, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, or 12 inch hoop, these are the ones I recommend. They don't tarnish, well everything tarnishes eventually, but these really, really, I've not seen them tarnish, I promise you. I won't, I won't let you down. This is what to buy. Try not to make a mess. I'm going to make a mess. Okay, next... I have everything written down. And I'm just going to look for. Oh, I took it. Bracelets, guys. Bracelets. I'm going to show you a ton crap load of bracelets. I'm going to show you what to buy, what I use them for, and what to expect. Oops. I expect that I will have one hell of a mess to clean when I'm done, but it's okay. So, the bracelets. Um, for 50, okay, 50 of these bracelets right here. I will put the brand name. I did not write it down. I will put that on. These, my friends, are the ones that you want to buy. They're not cheap. I think they're like $15. The reason why I say that is, if you look, look close, because when you buy it, this is what you want. They have all different stuff. Jeez. I like the thicker ones. They're beautiful. The project will come out nice. My favorite for a long time or these thinner ones they're not rounded your project will come out lovely i promise four seasons even these they look like little belts I said, oh, that's not going to work it'll work trust me i won't let you down they're beautiful and then if you buy them and you say geez you know what Marianne, i really don't like them on your wrist. Just throw them on your wrist. There you go. Now you're beautiful. Look, see? How pretty is that? Trust me. I know you trust me. Now, I'm going to show you if you like to work in brown wire, which I do. However, I have found, let me get rid of these pretties, I have found it to be very, very brittle. And it doesn't matter which one I use, they're brittle. So I try to stay away from them. However, I will share with you wire. But now, when you buy bracelets, don't buy these. Look at them really, really close. You will see the difference. This is what I started with. And then they became unavailable and they didn't know if they would come back. So I had to search for something different. These were great. I used to do the Four Seasons in these bracelets, and I loved them. 
they're very thin some of them have like little um, cut out little grooves and then some of them are very plain and this is what I used but then I was noticing sometimes on my four seasons and I made a ton of them I sold a ton of them but when I was putting them together I noticed that they went from this because you know I'm tough I pull on my trees to give them character to this this is not good this is not pretty but if you want to make something say you want to make a flower you don't want to buy a crap load of wire buy these because you can shape them into something different and then make a sun catcher you can do whatever you want these are very inexpensive they're very thin they're very fragile but you can if you wanted to make a moon I mean, i'm not going to play with this i'm just oops see i told you they were breakable and flexible you can take your wire and you can form this with pliers or with your fingers you can make something with that if that's your thing this is not my thing this is my thing okay now we're going to get rid of the ones that i've already done i'll use these sometime maybe um no i don't throw them away except for that i'm gonna throw that away because i broke it and i just don't want this wrap taking up space in my craft drawer i'm trying to help you pay attention i'm trying to do you good if you like to work with brown wire buy these these are the same brand i will list them they're beautiful guys some of them really thick some of them are just perfect like this most of them are like that they have this golden color and it almost looks like golden black i have used them once because i just when I saw them out, oh, look, something different. Buy them. If you're going to work with brown white, you can put silver in there. These are just really, really, really nice. And then there were a few of these. If you can't think of anything to make with them, like for an ornament or work with your granddaughter, your niece, just do it. And then if you don't like it, it's lovely. Trust me. I'm here for you. This is really pretty. You can put a tree of life in that. In these, they're thicker. These ones here do not break. They don't budge. So, I'm not going to scare you wrong, but what I will do right now, hold on my friends, I'm trying to be as organized as I possibly can. And Abby's going to cry. So, sorry, I have to go to my board. What's left of it? So when I do the four seasons, this is why I have so much stuff. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. That's your girl. I did that. This is in a bracelet. Okay? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, this makes a great ornament. Put a little chain in a little suction cup it's beautiful in a window you can do it with seed beads you can do it with whatever you want and once you if you make i like my tree i like this shape use it as a template for the next tree with that i mean this one here is garnet okay if you like the way your tree looks after you've shaped it out keep one and then when you put your wires on for your next hoop, twist out your roots and your trunk and your branches. It won't be exact. All right, it's exact. And it's pretty, it's an ornament. It is, oh gosh, guys, this is where I started. And then I graduated to four inches. I'm going to do this in seed beads just to show you what you can do to make something so beautiful. You can do a Christmas, you can do four seasons, you can do Easter, 
you can do you can do anything because I'm going to show you how and I've shown you how if you don't want to go back and look that's okay next project we're working in a four inch hoop and next one is in a bracelet the bracelet we use a different wire we use a 24 gauge I'm going to get into all the wire I use and why but this is what you can do with the bracelets I love it and it's easy okay next I'm going to talk about wire boy have I tried a lot of different wire so this is what I use okay this one here is 22 gauge wire I like to use this in a 4 inch hoop a 5 inch hoop and anything bigger um, I've used the 24 gauge in a 4 inch hoop the only thing is it's a little bit fragile and I'm a little bit tough so instead of buying all kinds of wire until I can't breathe I decided to do everything from a 4 inch hoop up you could even use this in a bracelet I have done this but this is my go-to wire right here it's 22 gauge I will not let you down this is what I use I will never change it now if you care you can go back and look at the wedding tree it's with um, green and gold it's for my my son and my daughter-in-law's wedding I wanted to do something special and I did but I did not want to do a gold tree with copper wire so to one of you wonderful wonderful people who, who listened to me suggested that I get this wire in um, it's a the same wire it's 22 gauge it's called KC gold it is not copper this is copper actually this is a very nice copper it's not orange KC gold it's gold and it doesn't look brassy so thank you again now moving along again if you want to use a, like a copper wire those little bracelet hoops this is the one to use get it in a 22 or you can go 24 which is thinner I'm using this currently in a 5 inch hoop that's coming up I've just not been well enough to do it I'm getting there guys so the next thing this this right here is my 24 gauge wire I use this in a bracelet hoop always but you can use the 22 gauge you don't have to spend a lot of money I use this mostly to wrap you'll see what wrapping is if you watch the video I've done them just on wrapping and I'm gonna I do it on all my trees and now that I'm feeling I'm, I'm recovering I'm quite broken but I'm ready to get back to work I will try my hardest to stay focused to keep my hands where you can see them and I will try to always always tell you what beads I use and where I get them now because I have so many new people you do not need to spend a lot of money to find if you choose to do this craft and I'm going to show you how because see beads right now are my friend and my friends I will show you what you can do and then if you like it then you can branch out and try something different but try something easy first because once you do that I'll show you how and then you'll be hooked on the tree of life that doesn't die this is my passion I don't pull any bull crap I just do what I do I share everything because if I don't succeed if I fail you you won't succeed so enough of that okay I get really emotional because this is what I like this is like what I do guys so another thing that I get um, a lot of questions about where did I put that I wrote everything down on little index cards and now we have um, hang on guys, I'm so sorry. 
you do not see it. Oh, here we go. Everybody asks me about these little birds. They are precious. Now, these, um, they come from, actually, I'll, I'll write it down. You get 50 of them. These are antique bird spacers. Okay, these are what I use, little mamas and little eggs. They're priceless. You get 50. The hole on these are from the bottom to the top. If you get them sideways, I'm sure you can do it as well. They had some, but I chose these because I think they're adorable. And you do too. Most of you love them. I get asked about them constantly. So this is what to do. Now, okay, um, we're going to talk about seed beads. So what I use... They are six slash zero. I like the mirror seed beads. You see your girl went a little crazy, but that's okay because there's a lot of them. So these are Yolin. I'll write it down. There's 2,000 in this little container. I mean, this is like really awesome. If you want to use just one color, I'm working on several projects. As you've seen, I've used several of these already. I used these gold ones in the green and gold wedding tree. Now, the thing about these, they this is full. I mean, there's a lot of beads in there. They are not perfect. Some have a hole, some are a little bit longer. If you want to make a tree, this is the way to go. So, for one of these is $7.99. But $7.99... It's not bad. But then I have to buy all the different colors. and No, you don't. No, you don't. So, instead of buying different colors, and there's a bazillion, the next thing for you to do, if you're going to try your craft and try and keep it your price down, it's called Craft Daddy. Okay? Same size. Six slash zero. They're glass, mirror glass beads for... $12.98, you get a hefty bag. You can sort through them. I, I, I get a wire and sort through my crap all the time, guys. I've shown you I do it, really. I don't buy stuff right now because I don't need it because I've got so much stuff from before. So this is it. This is what I'll be working with. Anything you see me work with from my canister, I will show you that, are these. And that's what I, I started with. I got one that big bag. And for $13, I was like, woohoo, when I got it, I ordered another one. I had a big container full of just these and another one with crystals. And finally, I threw them all together. And this is what I work with. But the beads, I didn't buy new. Well, I bought, when I bought them, they were new. But this is going on 10 years. And when I used to make projects, I would always have that little bit that were not chosen for the next project. So I threw them in a bag, threw them in a tote, in the, in the craft drawer. And then when I was cleaning out the space, because the craft drawer got jammed, I pulled out all this stuff. I was like, holy moly. Damn. Crystals, because I was using Four Seasons, all different colors. When I would make amethyst, I would buy the, the sky blue. And Anyway, I'm over talking. So that's beads. We did beads. We did wire. Okay, now I'm going to show you my favorite crystals. As you know, I like pretty. And these, D-O, warm, do warm crystals. This is the one that I use. I use these on my crescent moon. I use these in between on all my projects. Guys, these are absolutely gorgeous. I don't like the crystals that are A, B, some people like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like this. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. They're all there. And I have jump rings in there. They didn't come with it. But this is what I use. Do I use other ones? Absolutely. I just ordered some. Because I'm going to be working on something on a comb for my hair. My hair is very, very, very long. And I need to do something for the summer wedding. 
of my future daughter-in-law. So I'm going to try and make something pretty. And I'm going to show you how I fail or I succeed. I don't know. So there's that. Now the other one I wanted to show you. These. I use these for the bottom of my angel. This is a small company. It's family. And they are lovely. I will write this down. These are beautiful. Can you see that? This is what I use. They're good for not just the oh, this is a couple of my other ones in there. They're good not just for the angel bum, but you can do these for flowers. You can do them anything. Look how beautiful. I'm gonna write all of this after this really short, short, short video. A couple of minutes. Not. Okay, let me just check now, really quick. Okay, now, I have them right here. I will find them. These. I use these on the end of bracelets. I use them on four and five, and these are wonderful. Trust me. I won't, I won't steer you wrong. They come in jade, rose quartz. This is just like a clear crystal quartz. This one here is onyx. They have tiger eye. There's a whole bunch. And, and every one is different. If you read in the description, like, you know, reviews, people say, oh, they came apart. You're going to find some that aren't perfect. But you know what? In a perfect world, they're not going to all be perfect. Trust me. I've bought these 12 times. And let's see. Mary Nine. No, that's prisms. Um, I don't know what I just did with them. I'll write them down. But anyway, you get a whole ton of them. See, this is your girl. She's all over the place. They're worth it. It's not. It's not a lot of money. But you get a lot of these, okay? Trust me. If you like what you see when I make a project, this is what I use. It's not the only thing I use. We'll get into that with every single thing I make from now on. I will write it down. I'll try my, my hardest, I promise. Now, <clears throat> let's see if I forgot anything. Okay, miscellaneous. Go to charms. Skeletons. Check. I've made many things with skeletons. Some that just hang and some that are just standing around. Just skeleton charms. That's all you gotta do. Enamel charms. You have butterflies, you have owls, you have bumblebees. That just like you have everything. It's all there. I'm not going to pull that up because I bought so many of these looking things. Now, angel wings and dragonflies. Type it in. I'm not going to look for them. You'll find these. And they come like five different varieties in the package. And you get more than what you're going to need for a long, long time, trust me. And with this stuff, I'll show you what I've made. So you know this is what you would like to do. See, your girl's doing her best. Seeing as I just had. Oops. <laughs> I've had the time of my life, guys. This is what you do. Little keychains. That's a wonderful little gift. You can make um Something a little longer for a rear view mirror. Um, something just for above your kitchen sink that, you know, I don't know if you like the skeleton for that. But it's something fun. Isn't that fun? You know, these beads I picked up at Michael's. Uh, I had no idea what I was going to do with them because it's just not for a tree. But it's for that. And I liked it. Now we have another angel. 
and I made a, a longer chain so you can hang it. This was not a tree. It's pretty. It's something different. I showed you how. These lamp work beads are stunning. They have like little foil rows inside. Angel wings, you have all different kinds. And then the prism. The prism, let's see. They are Mary 9. You get like 20 of them. And yeah. Now, these. This one here, another skeleton. And then the moon charm. These are key rings. I bought a whole ton of them. I took off the chain because I don't like it. But this is what you can make. Now, end caps. Let's talk about end caps. Do a search for end caps. I like end caps. Sometimes I use them because I think it's fancy and it's beautiful. Sometimes not. They are all different sizes and they are quite pretty. And I like the bigger ones on, on a bigger um, bead. Here's a few. Some of them are shaped like little daisies. Ones that I really, really like. To me, it looks like a little something you would see on a Christmas ball. You just have to sew it for it. I know it's an, oh, we have the little clam. <laughs> this is um, something else. End cap. It's more for jewelry. You just like it's to connect stuff. I do a lot with that, and I will show you how and what it's what I do with it. Hopefully, I can remember. But these things here are really, really pretty. This one here is one of my favorite because when you put it on a prism or on a uh, crystal, I just think that has a really pretty look. Like for example, on the prism, it just gives it. I don't know if you can see that. It gives it a really polished look. And um, this is getting more advanced, more money, more of an investment. Make your first tree. Make it simple. Make it your own. Try it with the seed beads. That's as cheap as you're going to get. Unless you find something else. I'm going to work with seed beads. I have been. Oopsie. Jumper. I've been doing that for a while because I have... Been working on a um, donation for Alzheimer's awareness for this month for a silent auction. And for everybody that's new here, hi. You'll be treated well. My, my, my people will take care of you. Now, moon charms. I don't know why I bought all this, but I'm not sorry. It's a lot of stuff. It really is. I like it. I like the, I did stuff with the crescent moon with these. You have moons and you have the sun. You just have just like lots of stuff. I like stuff. Do I have a lot of money? I am broke. <laughs> I am stinking broke, guys. But this is stuff that I've done over the years. And it adds up. I gotta clean up all this mess. Um, just trying. I'm just shooting up. I'm just showing you what I use. Moon charms, sun charms. These are the only ones I like. They make earrings. It's better. It, it's just good. Trust me. It's just good. I, I, I don't. I don't do crap. Usually. Now, let's see. I think I've covered pretty much everything that I intended because I've got quite a mess here. So with that, I'm going to call this the end of my presentation. And now I'm ready to get back to work. My journey is not over, guys. Um, <laughs> it's been big. I'm sorry. It's been big. And I'm little. So my body is just going to take a little bit longer to recover. So it was big, and I still can't really. I can make one beautiful tree with you, with me. And we're going to do that today. Today, I have to, I have to make... I'm going to finish the complicated tree. 
my friends that are new I promise you this one here is just just a little bit more than keeping it simple but if you look at the previous one that I did I show you how to make your branches and you got it you can do it do I suggest it to be your first pro project I, I don't I suggest your first project if you don't do it in a four inch hoop I think it's the best way to go because you get a lot of hoops for less money but if you want to keep it really small and you just want to make ornaments and these also make a great gift tag on an ornament make the Easter ones get a bracelet you can do a 24 gauge I showed you 22 gauge it will work and guys you can do this you can do this and I'm going to show you how this is probably the easiest project I've ever made. I outgrew it and went into a four inch hoop. So anyway, I'm here for you. I am stronger and I'm ready. And if you're ready to join me, I'll be glad to take you along because love grows here, my friends. There was one more thing that I wanted to tell you. People ask me about my beads. When I first started, I went on to Amazon and I got Joe Foreman. And they were okay. I bought them for years. But then I found Joe Day in 7 to 8 millimeters. I found they're also a small business. And I have bought that. Um, a lot of beads from them. Now, I'm just going to simply show you what I work out of because I save everything. I waste nothing. I'm not supposed to lift anything over 10 pounds. This is about 25. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to shut it, so probably this stuff is just going to go flying. But I'm not going to let it. So, these are beads that weren't chosen. These are beads that have the seed beads that I have purchased. These are beads that I work with. Some of them are, are misfits. That's okay, I'm not perfect. I'll take them. These are beads that I saved and thought I had no use for, but then felt bad because I spent money that I really didn't have to make something beautiful that I loved. And I'm going to put the cover on this. Oopsie. I'm going to drop stuff and break stuff. That's me, guys got the oopsies the dropsies and the jumpers but anyway that's okay this is how I roll so I saved everything and then lo and behold this is what I ended up with guys look at that that's so beautiful oh my gosh I know I my hair I know it sounds horrible when you listen to it but Bear with me just for one minute because I have this mess to clean and I just want to show you what happiness is for me. This is, this is happiness right here. This is passion. This is what I make a tree of life with that'll never die. Give the gift that no matter what, this is why I share. Because when I share, I know you can do it and you will. And when I'm gone, you pass it on is what I live for besides my family and my regular life. So with that, I'm going to let you go. And I will see you soon, guys. Love you all so much. I love your support and your encouragement. Even when I talk in my hands or way the hell over here somewhere. I will be back this week, today, later. Don't know when it's going to post, but I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Cause your girl's back on fire. And make stuff. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.